Welcome to Thailand. The road has just finished. So in Thailand, uh, everything is perfect. The weather, the fruit, the people, the roads, the, the beaches, except the one thing. I love to run in the forest. And not just around the track and I love to hike and as I stated many times that's what I miss the most about um, European countries or Slovakia where you basically have all the time some uh, signs where the road is going how much to get there and here like you can look up on Strava if the road is going but then then you got the dogs on there and some roads are not even explored you know so you're pretty much limited here mm. I still managed to get my exercise I found one road which is pretty long up the hill and I can still keep up my running routine but I like to explore new roads but overall it's not so bad it gets you get the you get that sense of uh, adventure when you meet the dogs <laughs> sometimes it's uh, you know when you're just after work and you wanna go for like a like a run and push it versus just worry about the dogs all the time then it's not good but sometimes the adventure is it's not bad, especially if it's two of you. So, yeah, on one hand it's like a sense of exploration. You don't know what you're gonna come across and where the road is gonna end. But, on the other hand, sometimes it's good to know like how much you have till the end and all those things. Let me know who is in Thailand still and who is in Phuket if you watch this so my bike right here around Phuket this is like a half island here and some pier and it's going to another island there it's quite beautiful but look at that pollution ride your bicycle man Try to ride your bike as much as possible. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sitting in a bus and, or car sometimes as well. But I try to minimize it. I cycle to work every day. I cycle to work every day. Obviously, if your work is 100k away, you can't cycle that far every day. But if it's up to 20k away, you can cycle no problem. Get your fitness. Uh, then try to get a try to get a holiday nearby you. Don't go somewhere away. So do for example cycling touring. That's what I'm gonna plan. So I'm gonna buy a cycling uh, bicycle trailer and and uh, just uh, put it somewhere here. Um, just invest in your bicycle man so simple doing either it's got it right you know there is just too many cars and too much traffic the only good uh, reason there is a traffic is that look at the bird the only good reason that there is a traffic is because they build a uh, good roads as well but, you know, just gotta promote the fucking cycling more. It's the ultimate activity for saving the environment, for making you fit, for burning your fat, making you happy with endorphins. And it will be much more enjoyable activity if there are much less cars, because, you know, like you're breathing lots of pollution, especially if you're riding in a huge traffic. 
Um, but yeah, Thailand has good lots of uh, good roads here. Um, in Slovakia, if you go like a side road, there's lots of uh, holes and bumps and stuff. But here, even the side roads are perfect most of the time. And I try to avoid the main roads because there's usually so much traffic and it's hard to get through it. And and uh, here in Thailand, they uh, they don't stop. Uh, like in Europe, if they see you standing on the side of the road and see you that you want to cross, they would stop. But here, here they go and they only stop when they see you actually going. So that's one disadvantage, but on the other hand, they're much less uh, nervous here. And if the car just pulls over or something like in front of you, they're okay with it. Um, but you gotta be careful anywhere, you know, like there's not just Thai people driving here. There's lots of uh, tourists from all over around the world and they're not driving carefully. So try to avoid the main roads and go on the side roads like this, explore and get fit, promote veganism, cycling and minimalism. Let's do it! Look how steep this road is. No way, I need like 36 cassettes for that. This road is actually not on Strava, so I don't know where I'm going. Um, I will see. Nice views. So that's uh, Koya Oyai. <coughs> so, and behind that, so Koya Oyai is the, I think the big one. And then there is a Krabi behind that so the same view this would be a good place for camping actually nobody's here pretty quiet good access by the road and awesome view So you got Phuket, all the hills. I think National Park is somewhere behind it. I'm not, not quite sure, but yeah. And then the, that's Panga. If you see those hills at the background. Let me just zoom it. Yeah, so that's Panga. And then at the background all the way there, that's Krabi. That's, if you see right after that, um, Koyao Yai, Koyao Noi. That's Koyao Noi and Koyao Yai. And these are just the islands around here. Yeah, just live the adventure, man. You gotta carb up and bring enough water with you. I always, always bring more than you need, just in case, because it could be hot weather. You, there might be no shops on the way. You know, and you could get dehydrated or on the car pretty easily. So always bring more than you need. Um. I think that's the rain over there. It's an awesome view. Definitely gonna go camping here one day. Another view. This is a uh, Phuket Bay. So Phuket Town is that way. You can see very hilly. It's very quiet here. Nice road. I think it goes down to that hotel there.
and that's what we've seen already. And some nice beaches over there as well. You can see there's like a cluster of islands around here. Amazing. Check this out. Thailand is perfect because there is no... You can sometimes find the roads where there is nobody. Just gotta explore, carve the fuck up. Dish the fucking meat and dairy and get out there on a bike or hike somewhere. We might experience places like this. So I got a bit obsessed with uh, vegan restaurants and they have a little bit more oil and salt but it's mainly for the oil so I'm, I'm back to my routine so pretty much potatoes is my staples and then different vegetables like Chinese cabbage um, then we have cauliflower, broccoli and then sweet potatoes, potatoes and here are some rice noodles so just focusing on more on whole, plant, whole plant foods even before like I was mixing the the vegan restaurants with like uh, the rice noodles or rice but I noticed uh, my acne got worse and it just overall doesn't feel so good next morning as when you eat low sodium for some people this might be boring and they uh, they would never do that they would be like I would rather have a heart attack than eat like that um, well I can say that I mean all I can say is it takes three weeks till your taste bud adjusts but I understand some people would rather die. I mean, you can eat uh, vegan restaurants and still be healthier than 99% of the population. But if you want to get it to the like higher level, the low sodium and low oil especially is so important. Because if you don't sweat it out on the bike, it's just gonna, just gonna retain lots of water, you know. So, low sodium, low oil, hard car for the win. <laughs> so the police just stopped me and said, Sir, you need to pull out your bike here and start running. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, they're just surprised that somebody would run up here. Uh, people in Thailand usually run in park or... Uh, they never go like into the jungle so people are quite surprised when I when they see me running and I don't blame them because sometimes you can see the wild wild dogs or the lots of little houses with dogs and I'm scared as hell from dogs especially if they're started running after me uh, so uh, I'm facing my fears and just going there so let's do it <laughs> 